So after 10 years of making digital and traditional art, I thought I'd make a video about the two, how they differ and maybe what you should try. Okay, points to digital painting, because unlike with traditional, you have an undo button where you can step back as much as you want and there are no drying times. You don't have to wait a day or two days for it to actually be ready to paint on again. You can, you can go again and again with multiple layers, erase a few layers, delete them, put more layers back on, do different layer styles again and again and again. It adds a lot more ease and in that sense, digital's got to win that one. This point goes to oil painting because unlike digital painting, you actually have a finished product at the end. It's not just in your iPad or in your laptop. It's there for you to sell, for you to give to someone. It exists as its own thing. Because sure, you can make prints from an iPad through Procreate, through Photoshop, but you can also do that with an oil painting too. Take a photo of it, you now have a physical thing and a print. One more point to digital, when you are done with the actual painting itself, you don't have to take a photo. You don't have to set up lighting from the correct angles. You don't have to put the camera in just the right position. You don't have to do any of that. It's just done. You don't have to make it so the blacks actually look like blacks, whites actually look like whites, because it is exactly how you paint it on the screen. Whereas with actually taking a photo of a traditional painting, you have to get the color temperature right, you have to get the angles right, you have to get the lighting right, and everything else. So it's much easier to get prints. It's much easier to do that. It's, it's very streamlined. Point to oil painting. It still is, and will be for a longer time, more respected. If you go to galleries, sure they have prints, but having a physical thing that was made by an artist is still a lot more respected. That will change like in the coming years as more digital art moves forward and gallery salesmen uh, start to push that. But there will always be a traditional market. And which would you rather buy? A physical thing or a copy of something someone did on an iPad or on a laptop? I know what I would choose. Another great thing about digital painting is you can record your digital paintings quite easily. On your laptop, you can set up a program, run it in the background for five hours if you want, and it record every stroke you do, even with narration if you want. Same with on the iPad with Procreate. It can record every stroke speed it up and you can play it back to whoever you want on youtube to your family to whatever you it just makes it that much easier with uh, me doing traditional painting this camera i'm using right now i have to set it at the exact right angle i have to make sure my head doesn't get in the way the whole time i'm painting i have to make sure the lighting's perfect and i have lights ready to actually go that are powered by battery so it makes everything that much harder and then there's also color temperature as well so if I'm painting a painting and I've got the color temperature too warm, the whole of the painting is going to look quite warm and on the orangey side of spectrum. If I have the light too cool, it's going to make the whole painting a little bit more on the cool side, a little bit more on the blue spectrum. And so these types of things you'll need to take into account when you're actually recording, where with digital painting, that is not a thing. Point to oil painting. With digital painting, there is no sort of tactile feel. You put your hand on a piece of glass and put the pen, the stylus, and you slowly paint. But it's on a flat surface. You can't feel the paint strokes. You can't feel the raised edges. And your hand just ends up dragging along the glass. And that isn't a very smooth action like it is on paper, like it is on canvas. It's a little bit uh, robotic in that sense. So tactile feel is something I really appreciate. With traditional painting, it's one of the parts of enjoyment. It's like a difference between digital sculpture and real sculpture. With uh, real sculpture, you can actually feel the indents. You can feel the crevices, the wrinkles. You can feel everything there. But with digital sculpture, it's just in the system itself. You can click and drag, have so much more uh, function, undo, all those other things. But it doesn't have that tactile feel. Point to digital painting. Uh, once again, better for graphic designers. With all the different layers, all the different things you can do, it's very easy to transmit a photo, uh, a Photoshop image to the people you're working with. They can do the rest of the work, and then they can pass it on to someone else, and again and again and again. I know you can take a photo of the traditional artwork, but at the same time, it doesn't have that same feel. They can't play with multiple layers. They can't erase stuff that you put in, and they can't add stuff on different layers to the same degree. It's just so easy on a, like a tablet of digital painting to work with other people, to work for a company. With traditional painting, there's a whole process. And with those drying times, it's even longer. 
and we're taking photos, it's even longer. So if you are a graphic designer, if you want to be a digital artist, it's, you, of course it's the best thing to do. But I would say it's always good to try other things and digital painting won't steer you wrong. So that brings me to one of my last points. Oil painting is a lot harder in every single way. The mediums you have to have, the brushes you have to have, the paint you have to have, the canvas you have to have, and then all the methods that go into it. Having to actually realize it's fat over lean and maintain that way of thinking. So very thin layers at the start and then thicker layers of paint later on. It's these types of things you need to take into account. Digital painting, none of that. It's just nothing. You can just keep going and going and going. With traditional, it's a lot harder, so you learn a lot more just simply because you have to. Even in terms of color mixing, you're given 10 tubes of paint, with three tubes if you want, because you can actually mix all those colors with three tubes. But say 10 tubes of paint, then you have to figure out how to mix all of those colors, what colors you want, and so on. With digital painting, once again, you can color pick off a photo if you want. I want that green, I want that yellow, and you can just paint with those colors. Once again, it's a lot easier, but because you have to do that roundabout thing with traditional painting, you learn so much more, like a lot more. <laughs> Another point to digital painting. That is simply because it costs more at the start than say canvas, paints, brushes and all that. But once you have it, it's cheaper in the long run. You can have that same system for three years without having to buy more stuff. With traditional painting on the other hand, more brushes, more paints, more boards, again and again and again, just constantly. You get like six foot canvases, they can be $300. That's instantly just one canvas, $300. Sure, you can sell everything instead, unlike a digital painting. But once again, that is a lot more cost. If you want to just produce art, digital painting will be cheaper for you in the long run. It's another thing to take into account. So moving forward, I'm going to do a series on both digital painting and oil painting. I got like 550,000 views on my YouTube like years back, then I did nothing with it. So now I figure all these years later, I'll actually try and do something now that I've learned even more. So if you want to watch those things, follow, uh, subscribe, like all the stuff that other YouTubers say again and again, repeatedly to an annoying point, but please do it. Have a good day. Once again, it's free, so why not?